Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we will learn about the burn down chart in Jira. So in previous tutorial, we have already understood about the reports that are available in different Jira projects. Now let us understand about the burn down chart because burn down chart is the most widely used report or the chart that you will use to basically visualize how the work is progressing within the sprint. So I have created a sample scrum project with some sample data there. So let's go ahead quickly to the report section and see the burn down chart. So if I click on the burn down chart here, so this is the agile report burn down chart. And if you read out the description of this particular report, so what exactly it does is it tracks the total work remaining and project the likelihood of achieving the sprint goal. Okay, so this is relevant to your sprint, which is iteration of two to four week cycle. And this chart will help you to visualize whether the work that is being progressing within the sprint is, you will, you know, very likely be able to achieve it or you will miss that particular goal. So this is what the burn down chart will visualize. And this helps the team to basically, you know, manage the, pro uh, the, the progress and then you can respond accordingly. So there are many key aspects or key things that you can, um, you know, identify from this particular chart. So that's what we are going to understand. Now, say for example, this is our chart here. And the, in this burn down chart here at the top, you have the option to select different sprints. Okay. So here I can select, say for example, I want to analyze sprint one, then I can select the sprint one here. And then you have the option to either uh, have the burn down chart based on the issue count or story points or the time estimate or, you know, the custom field. So different options are available. Um, let's go ahead and analyze it with the issue count because the concept will still remain same. Whether you go with the story point or the time estimate, it will still remain same the concept in order to read this particular chart. So if I go with the issue count, you can see that on the first day of the sprint, which is basically September 20th, the number of issues that were taken into the sprint are seven. Okay. So this is basically, if you hover over, you will, you will see that this is the sprint start with the issue count as seven, right? Now, one day progressed and then on the 20th of, you know, September. So basically this is, you know, 19th September. And then on 20th of September, if you see the issue got completed. So there is one issue that got completed and you can see the issue count minus one and that got completed on September 20th, right? Then another couple of days passed. Then there is another issue that got closed on 23rd. And now you can see that this chart is basically, you know, um, it, it, it is horizontal for some days and then as soon as the issue is closed, it comes down. So the number of issues as they are being closed, you will see the chart is getting down and, uh, you know, progressing or the issue uh, are being reduced. So similarly, you can see other issues are being closed. And at the end, if you see that on the 2nd of October, there is one more issue got closed and then finally once the you know uh, sprint is closed there the final issue still couldn't close so out of the seven issues only six issues got closed and the final issue count which is basically one uh, issue count one it still remained and that is what you can identify from this particular burn down chart so how the number of issues are being closed and what is the you know overall progress of the particular sprint you can analyze through this particular chart so now say for example you you have the sprint closure on october 3rd and on october 2nd there is one more issue remaining then you can basically analyze that particular issue and see whether that one particular day within that one particular day uh, or the last day of the sprint, will you be able to achieve that issue or not? Or whether there is any bottleneck or blocker, if that is removed, then you can close that particular issue. So that, you know, information can be easily identified and you can then keep a track of the overall sprint from this burn down chart. 
okay so this is based on the issue count similarly you can go with the story points or the time estimate and analyze the burn down chart now below the burn down chart so this is the chart wherein you have the issue count and the time on the horizontal axis issue count on the vertical axis then uh, in the bottom you have the you know table tabular format so in the 19th of september we have you know sprint start with these many issues and these are the links so if you click on these issues it will redirect you or open these links in jira so sprint started with these many you know issues included and then as the issues get completed then you will see the event type is burned down and issue completed right so these all issues got completed and finally on 3rd of october sprint ended and because there is one issue which hasn't been completed the one issue is shown as pending here okay now this one issue which is hasn't been completed sspa-23 as the key will be carried forward in the next print once this is print is closed right so this is you know a brief introduction about the burn down chart and how the burn down chart can help you to analyze the overall progress of your sprint and then also you know if you want to remove the non-working days then you can just uncheck this show non-working days okay and it will remove the non-working days highlighted then say for example i want to switch to another sprint i will show you one more scope chain so in the sprint too if you see this particular burn down chart so there were issues that that were being closed and then on the 10th of october there the graph moved up so basically this happens when there is any new issue addition in the sprint okay so on 10th of october there was a new issue that got added and because of that the scope change and you can see on the highlighted part the scope change is visible and issue has been added to the sprint within the sprint okay so during the sprint duration the issue has been added and because of that the scope change is visible there okay so sometimes you will see this sort of you know graph or burn down chart in case you are having the scope change within the sprints okay so this is another good thing to basically analyze when you look at the burn down chart you will easily be able to figure out whether your chart is going or whether the work is tracking in the right direction or you are tracking properly or you need to look into the actual you know work and work out where the blockers are or why the work is not progressing within the sprint so that's all for this particular burn down chart tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching